Hey everybody, so today I just want to share with you one of the projects that I've been working on with my son. Um, this is the perfect keepsake, perfect decoration, perfect Christmas gift for anybody in your life. And best part, it is so much fun to do with your kid. You're going to need paintbrushes, water, canvases, and obviously your paint. Um, I have white, green, red, silver, and then just the miscellaneous fill-in colors for the designs. So first you're going to start off doing one of the colors on your canvases. Just go ahead and paint the entire canvas one color and then do that with the other two colors as well. In my case, I used red, green, and white. Um, same as the Pinterest picture. I did add a little bit of metallic silver into my white so it wasn't just a plain white that I was painting on. Um, it also gave it a really cool effect when it was done. Next you're just going to want to do the borders. Obviously you can do whatever you want. Everything that I'm doing, I'm doing the same as the Pinterest picture that I found, which I will link in the description below as well. Um, I just really liked how the original creator did everything and I just wanted to follow along with that. Plus I wasn't feeling very creative, so I just kind of copied what they were doing so I didn't really have to think about it. When it comes to spacing for the dots, I didn't really measure anything out. As you can see, I just kind of went in and eyeballed it and put All right, so the next step is to get the handprints on the canvases. So I started out with the green. So take your white and put it so the handprint is upright with the thumb towards the middle. And then flip your canvas over and use like a skin color. I used white with a little bit of like bronze in it and it made the perfect skin color. Um, and then take your canvas, flip it over, use the same hand and paint the new color on there and then with the thumb towards the middle of the canvas, go ahead and do another print. And then that one is done. In between of me getting ready the canvases, I did have Lucas just paint on a random extra canvas that we had. Um, just to kind of keep him distracted and so the mess is a little bit less than, than probably would have if he wasn't distracted. And then next I'm going to do all three of the feet. So the first canvas that I'm going to be doing is the snowman. So I painted both of his feet white and then put the prints on the red canvas. And then on the white canvas is a reindeer. So I painted his foot brown and added that to the white canvas. 
The last part is to get the brown antlers on the reindeer done. So I just painted both of his hands brown and then did the antlers thumbs towards the top of the canvas. So once the handprints are dry, go ahead and start adding all the little details. So here I am just adding the Christmas lights to the reindeer antlers. They don't have to be perfect and they don't have to be in any specific spot. Any random spot is fine. And then once you get the lights painted on there in their colors, just take black paint and outline them and add the string for the lights. You can make it as swoopy as you like. Um, and then add more lights if you need to in the end, like I did. Alright, so next I took the black paint and started with the snowman canvas, just adding in all the details like the scarves, the arms, the buttons, the mouths, the hats, and so on. Next I'm just putting the details on the Santa and the elf on the green canvas. So I'm just adding the elf hat, the Santa hat, the faces, and any other details that need to go on as well. So I was originally going to do googly eyes for the eyes, but every single time I went to the store I forgot to pick some up. So I just went ahead and did paint for the eyes instead, which worked out just fine. And then afterwards I hot glued a pom-pom onto the reindeer's nose. <laughs> So once all of the paint is dry, go ahead and take your ribbon and start hot gluing it onto the canvases. I did them on like the corners of the canvases just so I didn't really have to measure anything out. I just had to make sure that the canvases were parallel as I was gluing the ribbon onto them. And then once I had that done, um, I went ahead and took the rest of the ribbon and made a bow for the top so I could hang it on a nail on the wall. So I'm just going to tell you, I'm keeping this for myself. Um, 
I might make a few more for Lucas's grandparents, but I just love how it turned out. And I just love looking at it and remembering how much fun we had these last few days. And I know in the future I'm going to look at it and just see how tiny his little hands were. So anyway, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!